Hello. Everybody hates unwrapping. If it's something simple for a web animation only, you may be able to get away with Smart UV Project or Node Wrangler's projection options. But if it's for a game asset, you definitely need to do it properly. And these tips can supercharge the process, making it over four times faster. The example you're watching is from an asset pack of 72 crates I made for my art station and CG trader. The carbon set in particular has fiddly detailed corners that are all identical. Three-sided corner, times eight corners, times eight crates, then double that again if you include the open variation, it would mean marking the seams on each area of that corner element 384 times. Ain't nobody got time for that. Here's what you can do instead. First, isolate anything you think is repeatable. Not literally isolate, but just have a good look at it. How is it constructed and figure out where you're putting your seams. This is also a good time to do any further optimizations on your model. Delete anything you can't see unless you're planning to print it. Next, we're going to make heavy use of the selection tools. With Shift G, you can bring up the Select Similar menu and use the appropriate option, often Normals or Coplanar. Combine this with converting the selection to a border and you can mark your first set of seams. Also in the Selection menu is Select Mirror. This does exactly what it says on the tin, flipping the selection across the object's origin point. In the Tool menu that appears, click Extend to keep the original selection as well. You can temporarily move the origin of the object to the center and use selection mirror on all three axes for your second batch of seams to mark. In some instances where that's not viable, you can still separate and mirror geometry or duplicate geometry. Reattach, merge verts by distance. Once you've done the corners of one, you can duplicate them to all the other crates. When you're done with all the seams, you can hit U to bring up the unwrap menu and select unwrap. You will especially need to do this if you've duplicated any parts of your model and snap them into place as their UVs will be stacked on top of each other and can cause issues when texturing. And that's it. If you found this useful, please consider subscribing for future content. Take care.